Gusto ka white cast red horse ay pag uyam uyam. Single or for me? Para white? Kapag ko. Hello my dear viewers and beloved subscribers. Today is another February episode. Well, this is supposed to be a hugot video or a video showing different individuals sharing their hugot lines. Unfortunately, I have a bit of challenge taking shots and clips with yesterday. A lot of people today, while I was at church, well, it's Sunday, um, I was listening to the gospel and looked into it as a very meaningful material that we can get our hugot lines. So um, that's what this video is about. We will first jumpstart from the gospel for the day and let's see our message, my message to you lovers out there and how this will be a hugot to each of your relationship this Valentine's. Watch this. Duke in Altum, put out into the deep. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat, then said to Simon, Put into the deep waters and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. And Jesus replied, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. the gospel one phrase that's very meaningful not only to whatever call of life there is but it also applies to your relationship with your loved one let's start with this phrase duk in altum put out into the deep this is the very climax of the gospel for today I like to focus in three points that are very meaningful in the gospel. First is how the crowd was pressing into Jesus when he was standing by the lake at Genesaret. The second point is how he asked his disciples to push a farther bit from the shore the boat so he can teach his disciples and the people that are gathered by the lake third and most important thing to put out into the deep. So it tells us that while the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake at Genesaret. So at this point we're seeing a large number of crowd gathered and wanting to listen to Jesus. We would think that during the time, he would really love to reach out and share the good news to the people. But he can't do so and will only reach a very few number of people if he'll just be at the lake. You know, how would you feel if a lot of crowd are pressing in on you? Is it a very pleasant feeling? I can remember when I was, a, that was way back during the synagogue last um, January 20, 21st there's a lot of people and I bet a lot of you have also experienced it a lot of people have been pressing in on you it's not a very pleasant feeling you feel very awkward and at times or to the point that you will be stressed out so let's look into this kind of situation in another level 
Are there things that are pressing in on your life? How do you feel about them? This may be your partner. Unsa ang pagpunsisok sa imong partner nimo? Unsa ra man mo partner? Gawas ang dagay mo partner, no? Magpunsisok sila. Wow! That is a very unpleasant feeling. Okay, so what's happening in your relationship that you feel that you're pressed in on? It's not a very pleasant feeling, right? Sometimes you may feel na para ka nang sinasakal. Right? So, it's it's just at the point that you have to do something. Are you going to turn your back on these pressures? Or are you just going to quit? At tumigil ang mundo. The next paragraph tells us that Jesus got into one of the boats where one of them was belonging to Simon and he asked them to put out a short distance. He didn't ask it to put out in the deep, but he asked Simon to put the boat out a short distance from the shore. And then he sat down and taught the people with the gospel with the good news of salvation. Huh. This is his plan of action of getting rid of that conciso. Remember the pressures that's coming in on us? We just don't have to give up. Rather, idistansya gamay. Exactly. Jesus asked Simon, idistansya sa gamay. Gikan sa labyan. So, as we look into your life and then these pressures are coming in on, you don't need to quit. You only have to stop for a while. Distancia gamay. If you feel that in your relationship with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, or whatever friends you have, or whatever peers you have, yes, distancia gamay. That doesn't mean that you're quitting on them, but you're just giving a space. To have a very good perspective. Jesus wants to have a very good perspective of the people that he will share the gospel with. He wants that his voice will be projected loud enough so that all the people will hear it. And that was a relation. Listen to the mind. Pa makita ni mo. Asa ka nagkulang. Kita ni mo. Asa ka pwede, mubanat. That's what also armies do, right? When they're in a battle. They pause a bit. They have to look into their enemies. What size is the army? And so on and so forth. So sa karelasyon, di ba't pasabot mo distansya gamay? Human ang relasyon? No. Di ba't pasabot nga huwag ka gikuha sa mong uyab, na late yung mong uyab, huwag ka nakagag chocolates flowers during Valentine's Day, then my pressure na ka, my God. Very mainstream in relationships. Um, it's just that this kind of pressures when they're coming in on imo boyfriend or girlfriend na clingy kayo plus bills ni mo, bayron no, na doll. But I think your pressure. And then texting kasi mong best friend, Fred, pwede na mamatay. Oh my goodness. No. Distance siya gamay. Give yourself a space. Hindi na nimo makaya in your relation. If you feel it's already too heavy, don't quit. Distansya gamay. Diba? That's why some of you will have this kind of cool off, cool down, um, larga sa gamay si BF, larga sa gamay si girlfriend, but the distansya doesn't mean that you have to lose connection. When Jesus asked Simon to put the boat a little bit of a distance from the shore, but papasabot ng gitalik na ni Jesus ang katauhan nga ready mamino sa iya. No, no, no. He still maintains the connection. That's why when he was a bit out from the shore, when he was a bit of a distance from the shore, he continued speaking and sharing and preaching the gospel. Ana, hindi kayo mo distansya to aslayo ang karelasyon or ang boyfriend or girlfriend, asawa or bana. Mawa ang connection. 
which happens to a lot of people, a lot of couples, a lot of partners. That's why the relationship will end up to uh, maintain that connection. Distancia lang kagamay para makita nimo o insakto asa na inyo relasyon. Distancia gamay, yes. We now come to the third point of reflection, which is the most important. So, Jesus asked his disciples, he said, Duk in alto. Put out into deep water and lower down your nets. Addo salawud or palawud kamo o itaktak ang inyong mga pukot. Hmm. Itaktak and palawud. Two important things here. Ang pagpalawud o ang pagtaktak. First, as you can see in the gospel, Peter had a bit of a pushback. And siya, so maning karpintero o maning si Kristo. Ako mangingisda. Tibo gabi imi nangisda. Wa magkanimikuha. Karun pa kahang haskang inita. Haskang tutok kayong adlaw. This isn't happening. Master, we have worked all night. And not a single fish is there. But since this is your command, magpalawag kami o itaktak na mo ang among mga pukot. Ma, sa hay, sa inyo relasyon, when you want to have a bit of a distance, after getting that sort of distance, para makareflect ka kung nag-work up ka man yung relasyon, there are several people that may may give you advice. May na din kahit ang may ngon nga friend, isa may kumbuhat doon, isa may kumbuhat doon. And then, well, uban sa ito ah, maminaw sa mga advice, but a lot of us also would not. May na kahit ang magpasali. Diba? Suko kasi mo ang mga karelasyon kay paasa, ikaw po dahi paasa. Paasa ka kay ngayon ka nga pwede ra ka musunod sa iyang gitambag, but you're not following it at all. Because you might think, can someone got to tell me that? Well, you're single and then you're telling me something that I should do? Mm-mm, it's not working. Marto kang si Pedro ba? So, Miss Cristo, carpintero, telling me a fisherman. Oh, we have a lot of pushbacks. So, it will end up that you not following that advice at all. But then, some of us, some of us will follow that advice. And that's the first step. Nga mo palawum ang ato ang relasyon. So, Peter had a bit of a pushback. But in the end, the Peter, Peter ended this sentence by saying, Pero kay iingun mo man, mapalawud kami, o itaktak among mga pukod. So sometimes you may have a bit of a pushback when you try to Reevaluate your relationship with somebody, but it all ends up with how love commands. Jesus is love, and what Jesus commands, and that's it. How love commands it. You can read this in the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 4. Love is patient and kind, not jealous, not conceited, or proud and so on and so forth. See, that's the command of love. Humana to evaluate, ugasa ko doon ang relasyon, that's the first step sa pagpalawum sa imong relasyon sa uspusa. So, you just follow it. Tanaw man ni mo, wala yung karelasyon na nagtambag ni mo, tanaw man ni mo, heartbroken ang nagtambag ni mo, but that doesn't mean that what they share to you about how you do with your loved one, about how you get along with your relationship, that doesn't mean that they haven't felt what you felt too. So, what are you Pedro? Okay, sige boss, mapalawod kami, huwag among itaktang. Now, anong kinahanglan sa lawod, anong kinahanglan ipalaw mo? Hindi pwede nga, diharas mabaw na mo itaktak ang pukot. 
Very good question. Una. Kung sa may imong makuha sa mabaw, makakuha ba kag mga maayong isda sa mabaw? Wala, di ba? Ang dagkong isda, tuwa sa lawod, tuwa sa lawom. Tuwa dito ang mga isda nga unurun, tuwa dito ang mga isda nga lami. So, may makuha sa mabaw ka ng mga isda nga uy lami. Mga gamay ko na Mga isda sa lawod dag ko o unoron tungkol kay insat o ilang kaon. Insat o ilang kaon? Insat o ang ilang pang lamyo. Di pras mga isda sa mabaw kung unsay mang lutaw o ilang kanon. Mamaayo man na ang kalanon o dili. Pero na si Lam, they really make sure ng ilang makaon sa mga isda ng tuwa si Lam yung sarto ng pagkaon. Nana po ta, come to evaluate kung imong karelasyon isda ba na dako kay gikas lawon o gikan sa mabaw. Kay kung ang imong karelasyon, your partner, your couple is somebody nga gikan sa lawon, then he or she takes into consideration mga butang na makamaayo sa iya. Looks into your good traits, your good characteristics of being you, nga mas importante kaysa sa iyo mga di maayo mga traits or characteristics. Pero kung imong karelasyon, imong partner, imong couple, usa ka isda nga taga mabaw, kung unsa yung madunggan sa imong kasilinganan, sa iyo mga amiga, na amiga si Lugwala, hala, subat, subat, subat. How are you? Isda ka ba nga taga laon? O isda nga taga mabaw? Think about it. So, munang magpalawod kita. Huwag tungon kayo na naman tas laon sa imong relasyon. Itak-tak ang imong kukot para makakuha ka ni aning mga isda. Tingali ang uban, they're holding off to their nets. Kailang mga nets, importante para kanila. Lusod, what does tak-tak mean? Does that mean to let go? Depends upon you. Unsa may kinahanglan ni mo itak-tak? Unsa kinahanglan ni mo i-compromise? Para makakuha ka isda sa lawot sa imong relasyon. Kung single man ganing karon, you need to make tak tak something. You need to compromise. Hindi ka magsig-post sa Facebook, single, gihapong ko, February 14 na. What are you doing? If you really want to get into a relationship, did you compromise? Na ba kay gitak-tak? O ikaduha, nagpalawod ba ka? Right? Oh, what? Diba? Ang ending na gihapon yung reflection, hugot gihapon. So, that's what we should reflect into. Again, three points. Daghay mga magpunsiso o pressure in on sa atua. And that's the reality of life. We cannot avoid this. So, our plan of action, this time siya gamay. So, we can have a better view of that something. We can have a better view of everything. Aron sa pagpadistansya ni mo gamay, dito din mo ma-realize, kinahanglan ko magpalawod. I need to look in altum. I need to go into the deep. Di day ko mag-settle o mediocre. According to Chris Aquino, hindi pwede, pwede na. That's what Chris says in one of her commercials. Hindi pwede, pwede na. Kinahanglan ta magpalawod. Para makakitag maayuhon, di ba? Yan ang mga fling-fling ra, din ang mga mulas lang, mansuries. During my time, no, my time, di ba ko na nakatigulang, no? But I still believe until now that what really counts are the anis and not the mansas. Ang ba po mga batan on, no? They, they, they keep on counting even up to week series and day series. Not by hour series. Para na ako, what really counts are the years. They're significant. Month series, 
karon naman nang mabinag ulo millennials but if you really want to stay longer in your relationship count the years not just the months nor the weeks nor the days if you really want to stay longer don't count at all pressures is part of our life it's a reality in every relationship so plan of action let's distance a bit to have a very good perspective of things and there we will realize that we need to deepen our relationship deepen your relationship with your partner deepen your relationship with your loved ones and with the people around you so you will get a good catch but you cannot get a good catch if you will not compromise kung dili nimo itaktak imong pukot dito sa lawon Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please click on subscribe and hit the notifications button so that you will get cool and awesome content from this channel.